Hi, I'm Michael Goddard, and in this lesson we're going to be talking about the remove method of the array list and uh, how that can sometimes cause a problem for us. Let's get started. All right, so in this episode we're going to be talking about the remove method. And if you remember from the uh, previous lesson, the remove method uh, removes the item at a given index and uh, everything below it, so to speak, uh, gets bumped up and shifted up. And uh, that's really great. That's exactly what we would expect to happen. However, um, if you are going through uh, every item in an array list in a loop, that can sometimes unintentionally cause uh, a value or values to be skipped over. And so that's what we're going to look at. Uh, once again, sort of borrowing here from the folks over there at B. Wagner. So um, just as a reminder, the remove method, uh, you put the index in the parentheses and that will remove that item. So for instance, if you want, if you had an array list of strings and you wanted to remove whatever was at index 2, then you just say that your array list was named list. You could say list.remove2 and that would remove it and bump all the other ones up. Uh, if you want to remove uh, multiple items, then uh, that's pretty basic. You could have um, uh, a for loop. And uh, the problem is, yeah, I'll just sort of think about it abstractly here. Uh, let's just look at this here. We've, we've, um, we've got a bunch of uh, numbers that are added to a list. And let's say we want to uh, get rid of all of the even numbers. Okay, So we can just look here at our eyes and say, okay, we remove the 2, we remove the 6, the 4, the 8. But um, obviously we're going to be doing this in the context of a program in which we don't know, we can't look at the whole list all uh, from the from the big picture, so to speak, and act like we, we don't know what's inside the list. So we will walk through it, you know, traverse the list with um, a for loop, and any time that we hit um, an even number value, then we're just going to pull that out. And uh, that causes a problem. We'll see if you would imagine what's going on here, right here, when, whenever we're at uh, this position right here, whenever we hit this 2 and we remove it, and then all these other ones get bumped up, uh, we'll see that there's an index that's pointing right there, and then it goes to the next one. But when all of these get bumped up, uh, the 6 gets bumped up here, the 4 gets bumped up, the 8, the 1, and in the process, as soon as it gets everything gets bumped up, and then we go to the next one, well, at that point, though, the, the next one will be the 4, because the 6 will have taken the 2 place, and the 2's place, so the 6 will end up getting passed over. And so the the end result is essentially what we do is we any time that we remove uh, an item we just look at that same spot again. And there's two ways of doing that. Let's go ahead and look at this uh, code snippet here. So uh, to kind of trace the pro program trace the problem through in a little bit more detail. So we have an array list. It's named list. We are adding these values nine three five two six four eight one, and uh, when we do that, it's uh, Nine three five uh, two six or sorry yeah two six four eight one and then there's some code here that prints it out uh, using a for each loop just for each integer n in the list print out n plus a space and then print a uh, line and then we have um, the remove so this is going to remove the even numbers this is the incorrect version of that I got that got that labeled as so uh, for n i equals zero i less than list dot size so it's just a Additional for loop. If list dot get i mod two equals equals zero, so uh, get the value at this index. Uh, see if when you do a remainder division by two, it uh, that remainder is zero. So that would obviously mean that the number that we're getting is, is zero, or sorry, is is even. Then remove the item at that particular location. So. Uh, seems pretty straightforward and then we print it out the problem is is that when we run this code then the this is the first print out of the list and then we do the second print out and the six is still there and the eight is still there so uh, that didn't work so you might say oh just run it again well if we, even if we ran this whole ran this loop again we would uh, the six would get pulled out but the eight wouldn't and we see this is a, a problem of, of any time you have uh, consecutive values that fit our criteria. So um, the problem is, is like you said, is when we're looking at the 6, uh, we have an, uh, an 
index value, and that index value is, let's see, zero, position one, two, three, four. So that's at position four. So we, we say get the value at, at row four, at index four, or whatever, uh, and okay, so we sit at six. Divide it by two, get the remainder. So six divided by two, the remainder is zero. So we're going to remove it. And when that happens, the four, eight, and the one all move up. And so now the four there is at position four. But then immediately as we come back around here on the loop, i is now going to equal five. And we look at um, uh, position five. And so that's um, that's what happened. Actually, I, uh, I take that back. We, first one we see is the two. Sorry. So I... I whatever reason I'll skip the six. We look at the we look at the two and then the six gets bumped up in this place and six gets omitted. <clears throat> then we look at the four and the four gets omitted but then the eight gets bumped up. So sorry about that, but that's just a, um, the basic idea is is that um, whenever we do remove an item from the list, everything else gets shifted. So we can't just look at the next item. We have to revisit that particular index again. So um, that's uh, we've got some. All of this is, is written out there, and the BYU folks have some good ideas. Fundamentally, here's how you could solve the problem with code. You could say uh, if the uh, list. Uh, so we, this is a this is a while loop. So we say uh, we we replace the the for loop with a while. So we, we set the index equal to zero, and we say while wow, that index is less than the size. If list dot get i so if the, the current value that we're looking at divided by two keep the remainder of zero so if it's if the value is even then remove that particular one and um, if not then bump up i to the next location so <clears throat> you can see here if we were to apply this algorithm to uh, this list nine three five six four uh, Go back to the original nine three five two six four one. I is equal to zero, and uh, that value is odd. So do I plus plus and set I equal to one. That value is three. It's odd. Keep going. I so we would do I plus plus. Uh, I equals two. The value is five. Nope, that's odd. Keep going. When I equals three, the index value is two. That's even. So remove it, and then when we remove it, uh, all this other data gets bumped up. So we now have a six here, but i still stays the same because we only increment i, we only bump up i, if we did not get an even value. So i is still three, and at that point, then this six has been moved over, and so we remove the six. Then uh, <clears throat> the four and the eight and the one all get bumped over, and so now then we remove the four. Then we move the eight, and the one gets here, and we say, "Oh, the one is not, uh, the one is one is even, or sorry, the one is odd." So let's go up here, i plus plus. We bump up um, uh, the index value. At that point, the index value is going to be um, greater than the size. So that's one way of doing that, just replacing that with a, uh, with a while loop. I feel like that's a little less intuitive. Uh, this uh, also kind of uh, will work here. Uh, we we still have a, a for loop here going from zero to the left to the list size and what we do here is if um, the item that we're looking for is even then remove it but then uh, since we remove something back up i so put set i equal to the previous number and we do that just because you know for instance we, we first hit the issue here when <clears throat> the index is three so the way that this code would work is we remove the item then set i equal to 2, and then we come down here, and then as we loop back up around, i immediately gets bumped up to 3 again. <laughs> so um, we then look at item 3, which, as we saw here, would then be the 6. And so it essentially does the same thing, just temporarily push i back so that when we uh, bump it up here, we increment it, then it's still pointing at that same location. So either, way of, either one of those ways uh, will work. So uh, fundamentally, the, the thing that you need to realize is uh, why this causes a problem, and it's because our uh, our i is gets increased every time. 
but the, the list changes whenever we remove an item. So you have to have one of these two methods or maybe a third way that I'm not even aware of to be able to, uh, to handle that problem. So uh, your assignment here is I want you to create a class called remove demo that creates a, a list of integers and then uh, it creates an array list rather I should say Oops. array list of integers um, so in that I want you to add 10 randomly uh, random integers between 1 and 1 and you know what we'll make a few more than that let's say maybe uh, 30 random integers between 100 and print out that list then traverse that list and remove every item that's over 50 and then print out the new list this should give us plenty of numbers to uh, plenty of chances for us to have back-to-back -back numbers that are greater than 50. All right, so in reverse order, we talked about uh, two ways that you could solve the problem of the remove uh, issue. Uh, I kind of traced through the situation that could occur. Uh, this is with integers, but you know, a lot of times you have array lists of things more than just integers, strings, doubles, um, or even uh, custom, uh, you know, uh, programmer created objects. So anyway, uh, whatever that is the case, uh, have if you're trying to remove everything that fits a certain criteria and there's two of them back to back that fit that criteria uh, you've got to be smart and include something to handle the fact that the remove method shifts everything so uh, anyway just always know what what the tools are that you have and what their limitations are that's the remove method that's the unintentional consequence and that's how to solve the problem I uh, hope that made sense uh, the text is here in case it's uh, I need a little bit uh, to review over that. Thanks for watching. Good luck with your program.